my dear friends and colleagues, occasionally I'm sure that most of us have encountered a type of cataract that's extremely difficult to break down because it has a type of a gummy or a clayey consistency that is very difficult to chop. I was wondering whether this type of cataract had a particular name until I stumbled upon a phrase in one of the presentations in cataractcoach.com by Dr. Uday Devgan who calls this type of cataract a gummy cataract. I'd like to present today a case of a gummy cataract which I encountered and the challenges I faced in performing FECO emulsification in such a cataract. At the outset, this cataract looked deceptively hard because it had a slightly brownish or greenish brown coloration to it. However, on the slit lamp, I found that the amount of nucleus sclerosis was quite minimal. Therefore, I was anticipating that the cataract would be quite soft. So after creating the clear corneal incision, and going through the formality of performing the initial steps of FACO emulsification, I would like to show you how deceptive this cataract was in its management. Well, you can see that while we're performing the capsular rexes, there's hardly any red glow because of the pigmentation that was present in the nucleus. And hence, probably it would have been a good idea to use stripend glue. And after completing the capsular rexes, I carefully performed the cortical cleavage hydrodissection, a C arise in the nucleus. And I confirmed the breakdown of cortical capsule additions by attempting to rotate the nucleus just a little bit. Now comes the challenging part and that is the removal of this nucleus by FACO emulsification. I noticed that there was a tendency to, of the conjunctiva to balloon because of the location of the incision, so made some relaxing cuts on the conjunctiva to prevent conjunctival ballooning later on in the procedure. I then progressed with the dry FECO chop using a FECO power of 30%. It was easy to impale the nucleus, however when I initiated the crack I found that the nucleus was extremely sticky and gummy and I was not able to propagate this chop to the posterior plate. Now this is an exclusive problem when you're handling the gummy cataract. The cohesive consistency of the cataract tends to hold the nucleus together. It is not brittle, neither is it leathery, but just the fact that these fibers tend to adhere and stick onto each other, making it very difficult to create a satisfactory through and through separation of the nucleus. To make matters worse, the nucleus, although it looks greenish brown in color, has no amount of nucleus sclerosis of any kind. And it's quite soft that you're not able to hold it with uh, even low power and vacuum as the nucleus gets emulsified and the hold gets compromised. The best way therefore to handle these gummy cataracts is to make as many small direct chop movements as possible to create as many fragments as possible. I just hope that one of these fragments will work itself loose and follow the FACO tip into the central safe zone where it can be removed. Once a single piece has been removed, then by simply using vacuum, to engage and lollipop the nucleus, it is drawn towards the center where it is emulsified. You can see that while I am removing the small pieces of cracked fragments, that the central plate or the posterior plate has not yet been broken. So this is eventually achieved 
and after this point in time the rest of the management is child's play. The reason why I have presented this case is that a gummy cataract is not uncommon and it can hit you like a bolt from the blue presenting all sorts of problems while performing phacoemulsification and therefore you need to be aware that such a cataract exists and uh, it should be essentially treated as a soft cataract even though it may deceptively look like a slightly harder grade of cataract. Epinucleus shell is now being removed. Because of the good cortical cleavage hydro dissection, there is hardly any cortex left behind to remove. This is a technus one, hydrophobic acrylic, monofocal lens. I have no financial interest in the product. After thorough washout of all the viscoelastic, the wound will be secured by using a butt compression technique in which I just compressed the two lips of the clear corneal incision with a cotton bud for a count of about 10 seconds and this helps me to achieve complete closure of the clear corneal wound. I thank you very much for your attention.